20. We are finally on episode 20. There's something about round numbers that provokes thought, you know, thoughts of purpose and where are we going with this and stuff like that. Today we're talking about music and to set the stage up, we have a problem with computers. First of all, I love computers, so don't get me wrong, I think they're great. But the problem is that they don't like to talk to each other. There's this company, which makes stuff differently from this other company. When we move around, we carry around phones with us and this company makes phones and another company makes more phones. There are many more companies. There's also other devices we carry around and listen to music on them. The problem here is they don't talk to each other like civil people, like we talk to each other. You look at someone, he's not from your hometown and you're like, hey, what's up? How's life? And he's going to be like, all's fine, bro. Take care. I understood him. Of course, if he's speaking German, maybe I don't understand him, but we are willing to talk. Actually, I think there's the same problem. They don't speak the same. Anyway, the problem is that they don't talk to each other. Okay, why? The first video I ever made on YouTube was solving this problem of putting music on your device from one of your computers so that you can listen to it when you're traveling. That video was really long. I was only one who watched it and it solved exactly one problem. So today, a couple of years later, I'm trying to do the exact opposite. It's going to be a shorter video, but it's going to solve a wide range of problems. First off, if you pay subscription for any of these premium on-demand music companies, then maybe this video would not be helpful. If you don't and you have these MP3 files or CDs or whatever, where you chose to pay for your music back in the day, then this video will be helpful. So step one is to create a digital library. On my hard disk drive, this is where my digital library lives. On my hard disk drive, the most important data is family photos and videos I take of the cities that I travel to. The second most important data is music and the documents, stuff that I wrote and all of those things live over here. Good thing about documents is they are light. They can go on your Google Drive and they won't hog up a lot of space. Music will. So to create a digital music library, you'll first of all need a computer with this, a CD reader. If you put the CD that you purchased into any computer, be it Mac or be it Windows, the default music player, iTunes and Windows media player will pop up and ask you, what do you want to do with this? Make a co digital copy of this on your computer and open the MP3 files. Now organize them in the name of artists or however you like and put them into your hard disk drive. If you have a lot of music that is, if you just have some music, you can just let it live on your computer. Now that you have your master copy on your computer or your hard disk drive, Let's talk about phones. When you're moving data from a Mac to an iPhone, it's straightforward, it's very easy. You plug it in, iTunes opens up and you can make a copy from your iTunes library to the music library in your phone. If you erase your iPhone for whatever reason, you come back and plug it in and hit sync, then all the videos, images, TV shows and music will get into your iPhone. That thing, that part is awesome. I like that part about the iPhone. If you try to do this without a Mac computer, it's pretty straightforward as well. All you need to do is install iTunes on your PC and connect your iPhone to your PC. iTunes is the single thing that Apple has ever done, which it gives away for free. <laughs> so it's huge. <laughs> Once you connect it to your iPhone, the iTunes software recognizes there's, a, there's an iPhone, you can rename it, show the iTunes a library, and then sync it. Straightforward. This part is easy. When you try to sync an Android device, oh, you can't sync. When you're trying to put music onto an Android device from a Windows device, just plug it in and your Windows computer recognizes your Android phone like a flash drive or an external storage device. Open it up and just move all your music, drag and drop your music like you would like you would do on a flash drive or on your hard disk drive. This part is easy as well. The place where the worlds clash is when you try to put music into your Android phone from your Mac computer. That's where it's a big no-no. This problem has been around for quite a while and now we have the software called Handshaker. They shake hands and talk to each other. For me, the software is important because I keep a copy of all the good images that I take on my phone. I take a copy of that on my hard disk drive, apart from my Google Photos. So when I connect this to my Mac computer via Handshaker, it's an app for the Mac and for the Android phone. Once you've done that, you can move just like before. It's self-explanatory. It's, it's pretty straightforward. 
I like to keep a master copy on my hard disk drive. That way, when I'm traveling around and I d decide to erase some data, I can go ahead and do it knowing that there is a master file living in my hard disk drive or in my computer. But if you don't have that much of data, then you can just put it on your computer and that should be fine. But have a master copy. That way, if for some reason your phone gets stolen or it gets erased for some other reason, then you al always have this master copy and you don't have to go back and resync from your from your disks or look where your purchased stuff remains, you know. While I was rushing through the content of this video, if any of the components felt difficult for you, feel free to just drop a comment and I'll be hanging out in the comment section and I'll reply to those queries. I've moved music from literally every device to every other device. So I love music. So I've moved stuff so often. God's given me really generous friends and now I have Spotify. I don't have to worry about me. I can listen to whichever song I want at any time. I listen to podcasts as well. So if you can afford it, get Spotify or Apple Music, whatever floats your boat. If not, then this is how you can move your music so that you always have it on your mobile device. I hope this video was helpful, my dear viewers. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in this week. I'll see you guys next week. And in the meantime, keep learning.